Hi, welcome back to another video. I'm Ryan Brad here for part two of my how to build a DIY hitting bay in your garage. And this is my hitting bay. And the reason for this video is to explain some of the upgrades that I've made since the original one and since I've used, uh, used it for a while now, because part of the whole point of making this was to constantly look for improvement while also sticking within a budget and making the user experience, which is mine, a lot easier and more friendly. And if I have other people who come and use it, then it's also easy for them as well. So I'm gonna start from the net back. The first thing you're gonna see is the fact that I now have a much larger piece of fabric on this side, and I also have a new one on this side as well. There's a couple reasons for this, and I've talked about them in the past, is the fact that a golf ball hits the same spot, or relatively the same spot on the net, most of the time. And because of that, it can put a lot of wear in one spot, and then you have a hole in your net where the rest of it is really completely unused. So because of that, what I wanted to do is add some reinforcement, and that's why I have the fabric, which is called like a, just a mesh bag fabric. And how I had originally installed this was with grommets. And I quickly realized from the original system that although it was very useful, if I wanted to change it up, I would have to get more grommets, use the grommet installer, take a whole bunch of time to get them in there properly, and I just found that it wasn't efficient use of trying to get that thing up. So because of that, what I've done is I've changed it, and now I use tarp clips. And what the tarp clips do, it allow me to just grab the fabric really easily, and if I happen to start wearing a piece out on just the fabric itself, I can rotate it around like a big loop, find a spot that's not worn out, and boom, it's easy to get back to hitting golf balls in a very short period of time. I have that on both the right and the left side. Now, part of that fabric, what it also does is it helps with the acoustics because this is a garage, it's got a concrete floor, it's gonna be a little bit echoey, and to help with acoustics, the netting is here as well as the carpet on the ground, and it also prevents golf balls from bouncing everywhere. Now, when I talk about this concrete floor, concrete is not very forgiving at all. And because of that, this surgical mat was a good system, but it could be a lot better. So what I did was, instead of you know building an entire subfloor in my garage, which would not make this a very, uh, let's say, wallet-friendly project, instead what I did was I went to a local carpet store, and for less than a dollar a square foot, I bought thick, close to half-inch carpet under padding. I've got it underneath the hitting mat itself because. When I was hitting golf balls, and if you've ever hit at a driving range that just throws mats down on concrete, you quickly realize that your wrists and your elbows aren't gonna last a, a whole bucket of rain golf balls. So because of that, what I decided to do was add that under padding. And another part of the system is my little fiber-built flight deck. Now this can be used both inside and outside. I'm obviously using it inside. And it's a very affordable, small piece of turf that is very high quality, allows me to hit down with irons. I've hit a lot of golf balls in here with no wrist pain, no elbow pain. I'm someone who is a little bit prone to that. And that is with steel and graphite, no issues whatsoever. And because of the noise and because I don't want it to shift on the carpet, I also have it on another piece of carpet and under padding. My original idea was to use a thinner piece of mat, cut it out, put the flight deck through it, and then have it move around. But I just found that having to go through that whole process when I can just quickly and easily move this all by itself to the right or left side. I didn't have to go through that process. If you wanted a little bit of a cleaner look, you could definitely do that. But for me, I find this works totally fine and I haven't had any issues. So in the first video, one of the questions that I got a lot about was, what does it actually sound like when you hit golf balls in here? It's very similar to if you were to hit golf balls in, it's called a big box store where they have a, a more of an enclosed hitting bay depending on their style, obviously but because of the netting, because of the carpet, because of a couple other things in the garage, the acoustics aren't super loud, but I will showcase that and show you how the net works in just a few moments with a couple swings. And what you'll quickly find, and because it is a close space, it might sound a little bit louder than you would generally experience how I experience it, but it gives you a rough idea, and it also demonstrates how the net works in taking an impact, because that's a big question for a lot of people. I can hit all the way up to short irons and I get it a little bit higher up in the net, but because I'm so close to it, I don't have any issues. And with the driver, it kind of just hits the same spot every single time. So 
So you can take my golf swing for what it is. It's my golf swing, and that's why I have this, is to continue to work on it. But I hope that gives you an idea of the sound and the acoustics of me using my little hitting bag, how it works, how the net works, and uh, if you are doing this yourself, uh, I would love to see it. I want to see what other people are doing. I want to see how people are taking the initiative to go out and you know, DIY your own golf projects, whether it be a putting green in your backyard, or hitting that in your garage, or you're hitting that in your backyard, wherever it happens to be, I want to see it. So please share it, use the comment section below, as well as reach out on social media, RDS Brath on Twitter and Instagram. That's me, happy to take questions there as well. And as always, thanks for watching. That easy.